Sometimes you become lucid inside a dream. It's as if it's more real than real life. And the next morning you usually wake up feeling totally inspired. As if you had gotten a, a major inspiration injection the night before. I started making my lucid dreaming series in order to reflect my different interests in mythology, archaeology, animals, yoga, travel. Something that I found quite frustrating was that you'd go on a travel and you'd see these wonderful places all over the world and then you get home and the pictures just don't match the feelings that you had about those places and the experiences you had. We've managed to create a world that is quite ugly. Wherever you go, if you want to take a photograph, there's either an electric um, pole or lines or there's rubbish lying around. Badly designed buildings, buildings placed uh, uh, inconsiderately. I like to go around with my camera and find spots that are really beautiful. Um, I post a lot of um, the photographs I take from my environment on Facebook and I, I think people think I live in an absolutely exquisite environment uh, because I just don't take the photographs of the rubbish and uh, how, how horrible so much else looks. As a teenager I used to love uh, the paintings of Salvador Dali because of their absolutely dreamy and unreal, surreal qualities. My father had a portfolio of photographs by the photographer Sam Haskins. And there were these big apples and eyes and breasts and noses and things superimposed on, me, on each other and I found that terribly exciting. And I, I just really wanted to be able to do something like that. And we had a dark room, but in those days uh, it was very, very difficult and almost impossible to get any... Just to get a black and white photograph to vaguely develop well was, was a major achievement. Because of digital technology, uh, photo montage work is much, much easier. It's still very, very difficult to get a good result, but it's a thousand times easier than what it used to be using simply cameras and, and developing techniques. And when I first got a, ca a computer, this was what I thought I'd be able to do, but of course it was years before I could get uh, satisfactory results like that. So I've been collecting images for years. Um, my own photographs, interesting images from the web, from wherever. Um, and the first step would be to cut out all the various images, which takes quite a long time to do it in a, um, a way that you can use them again. And then I take the background and um, of the merged photo landscape photographs and then I would make three or four or five however many necessary copies and then run different filters and sift different effects on it until I get a dreamy um, kind of out of body ayahuasca-ish type of effect and then I would introduce my different images and manipulate them and change them and move them around and change the sizes and the blur qualities and there's thousands of things I might do to them and the process can take anywhere. At first I worked at this series for at least three to five years but they weren't really satisfying me and then after we went to the Amazon jungle and did ayahuasca, suddenly I got new ideas. So in the end it took me almost 10 years to complete, to decide, to find the style that, that really satisfies me.
So I use images and symbols from different cultures um, and from different uh, spiritual systems, different religions. I might use the images like here we have Durga from India. She is a many-armed goddess. She is a, a, a great symbol of, of, of a multi-capacity problem-solving or the eagle, uh, it's the eagle that's up there. It's, um, you could think of it as, as a, of uh, ele elevated perspective or we have the, the spaceship as we start exploring outer space and it's become a symbol for the unknown and for um, our desires to have a, a culture that's or a god figure that's higher and more capable than us. I throw in a lot of the Mother Earth sculptures because at this point we've gotten to the point in our culture where um, especially with our conception in the West of an infinite sky father god figure where we've treated Mother Earth in this way and now we are starting to realize that we have finite um, resources here on Earth and we need to start um, worshipping our mother the earth because we are we are as much part of her as she is part of us and if we break her we will break not only our culture but the entire all life on on this planet by using these different symbols i hope to open my own and and, and, and my viewers minds to to a multi-dimensional world so that new ideas can come to us so we can find new solutions to the pressing problems of the moment. We spend every night at least eight hours asleep and being coming awake or becoming lucid in our dreams at, at least we're extending our, our, um, our degree and our time of consciousness as a teenager, I used to love reading the books of Sir Lawrence von der Post about the son Bushman. And at some point he was pushing a Bushman about the origin of the world. And suddenly the Bushman became very frustrated and they said to him, But don't you understand, there's a dream dreaming us. And in ancient times, uh, the dream world was considered to be just as real as the real world. I often use images from different times and spaces, from ancient to modern. This is something that can also very easily happen in the dream world. And also today in the, on the internet, you can access an archaeological site with, with ancient um, artifacts, or you could go to, within seconds, you can go to a site with um, modern futuristic technologies. In the same way, we are actually multidimensional beings and by accessing different levels of consciousness, for instance, heart chakra, throat chakra, brow chakra, crown chakra, and even a higher, higher levels than that, we can find solutions to problems and answers to questions that are totally unexpected. So what I'm trying to create with these images is our um, fantasy worlds, multi-dimensional fantasy worlds where you can really allow your imagination to run free. Kind of springboards, places where you can dive off into the world of fantasy and imagination.